And let's move on to talk about China because China is pledging to step up its efforts against climate change. The country says it will increase investments in green technology in order to cut down carbon emissions. And this comes after first quarter figures that showed over 3 percent increases in energy use compared to last year. Let's bring in our guests on renewables and talk about a niche play today. We have Simon Powell, head of sustainable research at CLSA, and he says that China is serious about reducing pollution. We could see the effects pretty soon. Simon, what about the pollution here in Hong Kong, the two worst quarters ever on record for uh, air quality? Yeah, pretty bad. I mean, I think we, what we're seeing in Hong Kong is, uh, is a lot of NOx and, uh, and particulates. Uh, the piece that we put out last week is really talking about a huge market for pollution control in China. Mm -hmm. uh, in the 11th five-year plan, uh, China set some pretty stringent targets for sulfur dioxide reduction. That's right. the stuff that comes out of the top of power stations. They were very successful. Uh, and our view is that in the 12th five-year plan, they're going to set some pretty strict targets on NOx reduction. How strict do you think? And how do you play off this with this reduction in NOx, as you say? Well, basically, they're going to mandate that NOx scrubbers are put on all of the existing power plants and all new power plants. That's maybe a 20 to 30 billion U.S. market uh, market size for, uh, for for the equipment companies. Uh, how you play off it? Well, it's pretty niche. You know, there are a few stocks that we that we've looked at. We don't cover them, but people should take a look at uh, Pan Asia Environmental. They mm. should take a look at uh, China Bocchi, an interesting uh, Chinese company listed on the Japanese market. Uh, oh, One four one two JP, uh, and a bunch of A share stocks as well. Uh, Simon, uh, China needs power at the moment. We all know that. It's got a booming economy, doesn't generate enough power, has power outages every now and again. There are also plenty of people out there saying China could be up for some economic turbulence in coming years. Does it have the political will to push through these uh, pollution measures, even if that comes to fruition? Oh, most definitely. Uh, you know, we're seeing backlash from, from, uh, from communities living around these power stations. Remember, they're very conscious about keeping social harmony there. Whenever there are protests about pollution, as we saw in the lead smelting side, where mm -hmm. they're shutting down lead smelters, uh, the, then the local municipalities really drive this through. And there will be some subsidies, as there were in the 11th five-year plan. So, so from cleaning up the atmosphere point of view, they're, they're pretty committed. Uh, from a power generation perspective, expect to see a lot more on renewables in the 12th five-year plan. Mm -hmm. So that's the plan that runs from 2011 through to 2015, 2016. So we're just at the end of the, the 11th five-year plan, coming up to the 12th. Uh, expect to see some numbers in October, which could be interesting for investors mm -hmm. in renewables. Okay. What about uh, traditional renewables? You know, what about wind power and solar? I mean, pe people have been talking about these two sectors for a while. Is it an overcrowded play? Uh, from, a, from an equity perspective, yes. You know, there's a lot of money chasing very few listed plays. Uh, we see stretched PE multiples, yeah. as we always do in that space. Uh, but make no mistake, uh, they, we're going to see a ramp up in installed generating capacity for renewables. So some more aggressive targets on wind and solar. But, but our view here is a lot of this is about green jobs. Mm -hmm. um, you know, China invested heavily in renewables to create jobs in uh, semi-rural areas, which is why we see some strange wind names up in Inner Mongolia, et cetera. <laughs> uh, right. The same is going to be true in the U.S. So the big debate amongst investors is, is the U.S. going to buy Chinese renewable equipment, or are they going to want to make their own? That's a big question that's still mm -hmm. yet to be answered. And now you're saying that uh, the air quality in China may actually be better in the coming few years than Hong Kong's. Well, in the case of NOx and particulates, it already is. Uh, oh. So if you take a look at kind of particulates, which is the dust, you take a look at sulfur dioxide, mm -hmm. and you take a look at NOx, on an SOx basis, Hong Kong is better. But on a, on a particulates and NOx perspective, China is better than Hong Kong. Yeah, oh, we can right. tell. We can <laughs> and, tell. And, and, you know, the big cause of that is, is transport. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's shipping, it's cars, mm -hmm. uh, it's trucks. And there's a big debate raging in Hong Kong right now. So the question is, can the Hong Kong Authority put in some mm. similar measures oh. that the Chinese have put in? Okay, Simon, thanks for dropping by.